are you so convinced that your wedding is going to turn into this huge fiasco? Years of experience with the groom. But why would he bail when he's getting everything that he wants? Brooklyn, I have absolutely no doubt that Luke is going to finance the wedding of my dreams. However, when the music starts and I walk down that aisle, Elvis will have left the building. If, I'm sorry, if you really think that's a possibility, why don't you just cancel the wedding? Luke is afraid of commitment. Even the possibility of pilfering my sizable assets will not get him to the altar. No, you are just dreaming up the worst possible scenario so that you're not actually disappointed if, listen, if Luke lets you down. No, I'm expecting him to let me down. Actually, I'm hoping that he breaks my heart once and for all. Why? Because maybe it'll cure me of loving him. Ah, Brooklyn. Have you extended your good wishes to my soon-to-be blushing bride? I was actually just telling her that I hope the wedding is beautiful. It's going to be wonderful, isn't it, sweetheart? I know what I'm expecting. And I know what I'm going to deliver. Play something else? Um, yeah, maybe later. I just, I'm a little worried about my grandmother. So. Yeah, that's the way families are, whether we like it or not, yeah. Hey, um, listen, about the wedding. I just wanted to let you know that I will do anything that you want. I, I mean, anything. I'll wear whatever you say, I'll bring whoever you want, or I will not bring someone. So it's completely up to you. It is your day. Don't patronize me. Look, I'm just trying to be nice. Okay, well, if you want to be nice, why don't you forget about everything I said before. I was just indulging in a moment of self-pity. You and I are not through discussing Nicholas paying you to be his escort. Ah, okay, okay. Well, whatever you say, then. Granny. Okay, we'll have this fight after the wedding. Well, dear, made any money yet? Relax, Peggy. I will find a way to pay for this carnival you're planning. 